tells a lot here. We're in me driving away. We're having a discussion, but the person beside me on the camera said, "How come I'm mentioning about cops in our school system? They're inside our school system, and if there's problems, the cop puts that individual on file." on a computer the person beside me says how come you can't go like the old days you know just you know just uh what they had did they have what they call them school hall guard or security you know i mean something easy but why cops see the cops are not good standing members of the community i mean i uh, the good old days like for an example there's a Duncan Duncan Lombardi or whatever he's done in a couple of months they force him to go in the back on the uh, on the street on traffic duty has to get up at four o'clock in the morning he's too old for that but you take a guy like that Duncan you put him on the street patrol Queen and King, King Street and maybe once in a while drop in in the high school, once in a while, drop in in the high school. We never had no cops when we were in school. So then they got a guy, uh, Fred Wazo applied for the job. Oh, thank God he never got that job at the French school. Oh, that, that. He would have ruined the lives of many, many, many students. So I, I understand I asked a cop once, what the hell do we have cops inside our high school? Oh my God, he says, if we did it, we'll be there every half hour. All right, so I could just imagine the police scanners, but we don't have no more police scanners. So therefore, we don't know what those cops are, are up to or what they're doing. We're just waiting for the first Indian the welfare bump to be beat up dead. And then they'll say, ooh, what happened? Well, the police scanners is the watchdog of the police. The public can know what they're doing. I'm jumping. I never had my coffee. But the bottom line of this long-winded uh, rant here, Ferdinand Police, why is it so important to know, you know, like, it's the only police force in Canada that goes out of their way to hunt down people at 2 o'clock in the morning that riding a bicycle with no helmet or ride a bicycle on on, on the sidewalk. Idiot Mayor Michael Bryan. Well, uh, we gotta, we gotta crack down on the drunk, uh, drunk drivers. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the reason they're driving when they're drunk. Because if they ride a bicycle, uh, my God, they really get hunted down by the cops. Okay, that, that's uh, a little bit of exaggeration from my part. But the bottom line here, what are the cops, friends and police, doing in our school system? They shouldn't be there because they're supposed to be good members, uh, good members, good standing members of the community, which they are not. They're too busy falsely accusing, accusing innocent citizens to be pedophile. They accuse them to be into child porn. So, read. What are the cops doing there? Just to, just to put more records, more uh, hardship against the natives and the welfare bombs and. Anyone they don't like in school, they go on record and then they say, Whoa, how come you can't, you can't get a job? Oh, uh, I punched somebody up uh, in the school system and uh, the police put me on record so I can't have a job, I have a record. What a system!